UK muscle. Oh, is he scanning another apple? No, it's a tennis ball. I'll explain the purpose of the tennis ball in just a moment. If you're not caught up on the Corin law <laughs> from the current arc, I have a reoccurring back injury. Um, it's a back pain. Although this is what I wanted to talk about today, is pain. Pain, pain, pain. Pain, pain, my so great and terrible pain, this awful pain that I am in. I wanted to talk about referred pain, because good news, I have recently discovered that my back pain is actually originating from the muscle which is deep underneath the glutes called the piriformis muscle. Very important muscle, and a muscle that often gets very tight very very tight and overworked especially when somebody is doing a lot of running and a lot of cycling and a lot of weight lifting as well oh if you're wondering why that wire is there by the way it's because i have a new microphone ah, check that out i got a new microphone so that i'd have better quality sound recording on my meditations which you can find on insight timer for free by the way free app free meditation um yeah, I noticed the sound quality was pretty pretty awful on a lot of my videos and meditations, so I thought, why not splash out and get one? Anyway, so, pain, 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 pain. And yes, it turns out that my back pain wasn't back pain at all. It was a tight piriformis muscle, um, which is a pain in the underneath the hip. So the piriformis muscle lies just underneath the glutes, which are... The muscles in the bum, basically. So um, it turns out my back pain was quite literally um, a pain in the ass. <laughs> now, as we've been looking at recently, the clues are everywhere. And so this got me to thinking, particularly when something is happening to pull your attention towards something in your life. And um, we think there's a very obvious lesson to learn. We think there's a very obvious solution. So in my back pain, I was constantly stretching out my back, but it wasn't really, it wasn't really dealing with the pain. It wasn't resolving anything or sorting anything out. Um, if anything, it sometimes felt like it was making things worse. So it took a lot of searching and a lot of looking around to see if the pain was actually originating from somewhere else. And I think you can probably tell where I'm going with this in terms of the clues are everywhere. Because in many ways, the physical is just an analogy and a metaphor for the emotional, the mental, and the physical, and pain in particular. So physical pain is a fantastic analogy and metaphor for our emotional pain, and for our mental pain. And for the, so a really good example here is with strength training we go into the gym and we lift those heavy weights and we push ourselves through that resistance in order to become stronger just as you do in your everyday life you push yourself through the difficult times the times when you are resisted the times when it's a struggle you push through that and then you step up in life and you become more resilient you become tougher you become stronger as a result of pushing through that so what a great metaphor what a great analogy and I'm a big believer that, and I've seen it, I'm not just a believer, I've seen it with my own eyes, that when people get stronger physically, they just become stronger mentally as well. There's no way you can get stronger physically without becoming more confident. There's just no way it can happen. So it's worthwhile doing. If you don't do strength training already, I highly, highly recommend it. So back to pain. Physical referred pain. So referred pain means... The perceived pain in an area that, what's that, I can't remember the exact definition. Essentially, you're perceiving the pain in an area where it's not actually originating. So, and it can be quite dramatic, actually. So sometimes there have been cases where people actually have, like, a problem in their toe. And um, so their little toe has like an issue, maybe there's like a small break in the bone or something, or it's, um, there's a lot of um, there's tightness in the ligaments and the deeper muscles. 
and actually the individual is feeling it in their neck, um, which is crazy, which is crazy. And you think, well, how does that work? Because the pain's in the toe, so how's it, how's it presenting in the neck? Well, that's just how the body, the body is. And this phenomena particularly happens when we ignore the initial pain or we ignore the initial injury. So maybe you've got a, you've been doing a lot of running and you're getting a pain in your calf and you ignore it because you want to keep on running and sooner or later that pain has to present in an area that you can't ignore because your body's incredibly intelligent and uh, it's going to get you one way. You cannot run from your pain. Again, the clues are everywhere. Literally, you cannot run from your pain. So let's tie that into the emotional, mental side of things. You can't run from your pain if there's something in your life that needs your attention. And a lot of people try to run their entire lives without, without paying attention to what they need to pay attention to. And maybe in your life, let's say, you, your relationships keep failing, or they keep, they're not, they're not good, they just keep going wrong for whatever reason. Um, and we think, oh yeah, it's just a problem with like the opposite sex. <laughs> so we just think, oh yeah, all women are the same, or all men are the same. When actually the problem is you. <laughs> and there's something that you're not paying attention to about yourself. And maybe that pain originates deeper. There's an, a sort of an attachment issue. Maybe something from childhood or from a previous trauma or a ne very negative experience. And because you're not paying attention to and not aware of that pain, that pain is presenting somewhere else. So it's referred pain. Maybe you feel an inordinate amount of stress when you are out of control at work. When I say out of control, I mean you're not the one who's in control. You have no power, say, at work or something like that. And it stresses you out. And you look around at your colleagues and co-workers, it doesn't stress them out as much. It's just, well, you know, they'll just deal with it. But for you, it's like, it really, really bothers me. It doesn't mean that you're just weak and just can't handle the stresses of life. It's probably referred pain. There's probably something going on deeper in the unconscious that you're not paying attention to. And so, bringing it back to the physical analogy and why, thumbnail, <laughs> why I have a tennis ball right here. So what we can do with this one, I'm just going to take the, how messy is my room? Too messy to show you. Essentially, I'm going to take this tennis ball, I'm laying down on the ground so I can put my weight onto, and this is the weight of the, the glutes here. So right underneath the hips, and I'm just going to find that deep piriformis muscle. Oh, oh. And ouch, 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 ouch. So by placing that tennis ball on that very sore, painful area, I'm bringing my entire body awareness directly into that sore point. Straight in there, straight in there. It feels like a needle. But what that's doing is it's giving the direct input and the direct awareness so that my body can direct blood flow so that my mind can find that area and become aware of that area so that it can fix it and in doing that it's released the pain from my back so let's take a look at that in our everyday lives not even everyday lives if you're on the a journey of development and on a journey of moving forwards and on a journey of self-discovery, self-improvement, a spiritual journey, whatever you want to call it, you're looking to improve, you're looking to be happier, even looking to overcome your mental health. Perhaps the painful places in your life aren't so obvious and actually what you're experiencing here is a referred pain. So perhaps your anxiety and depression isn't just a result of what's happening around you right now. It could be as well. It could just be that you're in that situation and it's not so deep. It's not so deep, bro. It's just what it is. Or if, this, if you've noticed a pattern and you've noticed this is a reoccurring theme throughout your life and the usual solutions don't seem to be working, perhaps you're experiencing referred 
pain. And none of this is spiritual mumbo jumbo. This is like backed up. This is they've they've long understood this. There is a deep unconscious. There's there's different theories as to sort of like what's more important when it comes to your unconscious. Some sides are gonna say, oh, it's mostly to do with just how you were brought up, like the psychotherapy sort of side of things. Whereas your CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, tends to say that things are more a result of sort of negative mind patterns, not with necessarily a source, but because you've been going through that negative mind pattern for so long, it's almost like overusing the muscle. <laughs> And so that's what's causing that referred pain. So everywhere's going to have a different kind of take on things. And my general take on things is they're all right. This comes to integral, integral zen. Um, everything's right. <laughs> I know that sounds illogical and irrational and crazy. And how can every discipline be correct? But I think every discipline is correct. And um, go figure. I don't have to explain that one. Just uh, You just have to take my word on it. They're all, they're all right, all of them. All of them are 100% correct. <laughs> what, did I, what else did I need to... I needed to... You see, don't fall into the trap, though, of saying, oh, I'm addicted to substances because of something that happened in my past, and oh, therefore I can't fix it. Or, oh... It's not an excuse, okay? So it's not an excuse that, oh, this all originates from somewhere else, so therefore there's nothing I can do about it. That's a hell of a trap to fall into. It's a hell of a trap to fall into. And actually, the most courageous thing in life, the most courageous thing is to go deep, deep into the caverns of your own soul, to go deep into the caverns, the recesses, the caves of your own mind, and dig it out. Go find that dragon. You see the, the story of the monster in the cave. It's an analogy for going in there. Get deep in there. Find the monster. Find the root cause of the suffering. And stop having to experience this referred pain that radiates out throughout your entire life. Because once you get in there, which is like what I'm doing physically with the tennis ball right here on the piriformis muscle. But also I've had to do in life through like therapy and things as well. Take a look at those early experiences in childhood. Things that I was holding a lot of shame and guilt and embarrassment about. And actually by taking a look, by putting that tennis ball on there, by, by experiencing that pain directly, it relieves the pain that, you're being, that is being felt throughout the rest of your life. And it's a huge relief. It's a huge relief. Because haven't you suffered enough? Haven't you suffered enough in your life? Isn't it time to actually sort it? So I say sort it. Sort it out. Don't use that as an excuse. Oh, this pain is just coming from a deep unconscious place. Well, it is, but that all that means is you need to go grab your spear, go grab your shield, and go find it. Go find it. And I say go straight ahead, because the rewards are infinite. Infinite. See, now, I've been spending a little while doing that with my tennis ball for the piriformis muscle today and now my back is feeling a lot more relaxed and I can go and enjoy my day a lot more without that refer feeling that referred pain and the thing is team you'll never know when you're just going to find it when you're just going to find that key thing that key pain that key negative experience that you've had in the past that has been bugging you for so long and you find it and it's like oh wow things just reawaken appreciating all of the comments on everything recently um it seems like you're getting it you're really getting it and i say keep at it every day's a new day right forget your story what can you do today what can you do today to start moving yourself forwards I want to see what you got, team. I want to see what you got. Onwards and upwards. You still have time.